Growth hacks to help you get more clients as a freight broker. Hi, I'm Serge from Freight Broker Training. Setting up your own brokerage company is an easy way to succeed and earn up to 100% net profit. However, not everyone knows that most of the brokers fail during the first year of operation. We have prepared a few hacks to help you become a competent professional and grow a successful company. Please give this video the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and set the bell if you don't want to miss our videos. We have already talked about the fact that it's very important for a freight broker to choose a specific niche at the start of his business. But even for experienced freight brokers, it can be a challenge not to splurge on other offerings. There are always other people's requests which are outside and scope of your field of activity. This may be requests for transportation to that part of the country or using vans that you do not work with. And these proposals may seem interesting and promising to you. But we forget that time is non-renewable resource. Therefore, when you agree to do something extra, you automatically lose the ability to do something exactly what fits into your main niche. So the main idea is that you have to learn to say no. Because this way you lose the focus and direction of your freight broker business. Spreading yourself too thin is not only ineffective, but is likely to cause you substantial loss in revenue. You have to realize that it is very important for a freight broker to work straight in your niche and say no to all the inappropriate requests. It's very challenging, but it's also a powerful strategy. Take advantage of cold calling. When you work for the development of your company, looking for strategic partners and potential customers, you cannot do without cold calling. They are an integral part of a freight broker's search for new shippers. We have some simple tips to make this stressful process easier and more productive. To be more effective, do your research before making a cold call. Take a good look at the information about the client. During the conversation, try to identify who in the company is the decision maker on your issue. On the next call, if you immediately name the person you need to talk to and do not explain to the clerks who you are and why you are calling, the probability of getting a positive result increases. Think carefully about what you will say and what offer you can make to the shipper. Use an individual approach to create a personalized offer. Be prepared to be rejected and still use the call to get information and create contact with the client. Ask partners for referrals. Another hack which helps to find new customers is getting referrals from existing carrier clients. It's very important to build relationships the right way in freight broker work. Because you can always ask your clients if they know of other companies that are looking for a freight broker. Or you may ask them for referrals. Thus, your cold call to this company will turn into a warm call. Look for new customers among your partner's clients. In addition, you can get clients from existing shippers as your new customer. If the cargo you are transporting is a raw material, then the consignee will turn it into some kind of product that needs to be delivered. You can offer to take care of this process. So, you should do research to gather information about your shipper's customers. Then you can contact them and make a good proposal. Make effective use of a social media following. Social media plays an important role in the growth of companies. Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook is a huge opportunity to learn more about the work of your potential customers. In addition, this is a great place to introduce yourself, show off your success and create an image of your freight brokerage company. Take advantage of this, especially since the main features of social networks are absolutely free. Gradually expand the niche. It is also necessary to move in the direction of your growth as a freight broker carefully and wisely. You still need to stick to your own niche, and you have to look at other opportunities strategically. When you make a decision about expanding a niche, you should answer a few questions for yourself. Does the new opportunity enhance your core business proposition? Can it improve you as a freight broker? If you answer yes to this opportunity, will it help you scale your business? Does it align with your main business goal? Doesn't this go against your main offer? The answers to these questions will make decisions much more strategically. 
and you are going to see a much bigger ROI on the time, energy, and resources that you invest into those opportunities. To make it clearer for you, let's take an example. Your niche as a freight broker be working with shippers who ship your favorite things, focusing on a specific geographic region or using specific trailer types. Accordingly, you can go for a cautious expansion in one of these directions. Your work area is Southwest Outbound Van Freight. Your experience is one narrow area says that some shippers that move vans also move flatbed loads. At the same time, you have information that most of your carrier's partners use vans and also have flatbeds. Thus, you can carefully expand your niche by adding flatbed trailers to the vans. It will be collaborative with what your current niche is. So that's the lesson which you need to learn. You have to be laser focused in your niche. Always say no to hundreds of opportunities along the way that are not a part of your niche. It helps you to gain a reputation with both shippers and carriers. Only after that can you do strategic expansion of your niche. Always carefully prepare for both cold and warm calls. Conduct research not only on potential customers but also on competitors. Use your shippers as a resource to get new customers. Use these hacks to grow as a freight broker and don't forget to improve your knowledge with freight broker training. So, subscribe to our YouTube channel and set the bell if you don't want to miss our videos. Thank you for watching to the end. I hope this video was helpful. Share your thoughts about growth hacks in the comments and ask your questions. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and see you in the next video.